Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here, and I just got back from a ski vacation with my family. I'm all sunburnt, lips are chapped, amazing time. Kids on the mountain, my favorite thing ever. Before I left, um, I did a podcast with Carl and Rob on Stew On This podcast, where it's music but also food. And I'm going to put the link to that in the description. Please take a listen to that. We talk about Baltimore food. They make one of my favorite sandwiches. We talk about music. Um, so many different things. It was a great time. And so please give that a listen. And I told them, well, I'll tell you what, I'll share the link, but I'll also do a request for you. So maybe more people will see it, more people will hear it. And so they sent me a couple choices. Uh, Carl sent me West Montgomery. I don't really feel like getting beat up today. So I'm going to go with Rob's Choice, a band I've never heard of called Television, Marky Moon, Live 1984. Um, and he wanted to do this in observance of the passing of Tom Verlaine, um, who I'm assuming is the guitar player. I think he told me in the podcast, but I don't remember. Here we go. We're going to hit the button. So thanks, Carl. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Sarah, for hooking me up with them. Let's do it. Okay, not the best recording uh, or video quality, but this is a cool groove. It's a staggered intro, one of those quintessential things where everybody's playing a small, specific part, but the sum of all those together is what makes up the total sound. Um, and it's just, the way they enter it in is so perfect. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. So much going on. Bear with me. So again, if you're new here, I try to learn some stuff. I promise I'm not going to do this for the whole 12 minutes. But this is such a cool thing. So we're in the neighborhood of B minor. This per first part is just B and D, so root and minor third. So part of... And then you just have your B go down to A and get A and D. 
So it's kind of making a D power chord, if you will. And then this little part. You know, you're, <laughs> you're up here on uh, E and F sharp, I think. And then, and then B and D. So again, piece of B minor. And then your, your bass, B and D. And then D, A. And so you're really just uh, taking all these pieces of your relative major and minor, because B minor and D major are the same key. Same notes, same, same scale. And you're just putting them together in a way that it, 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 it's simple little parts, but a complicated overall sound. Very cool. Listen, listen. Okay, I'm gonna hope that, that comes back around the second time, but we modulate C, C, G over B, A minor down in there, and then we go in this weird part where he's clearly hitting some, you know, open harmonics at 12, which would, you know, give you the key of G or E minor, respectively, and then somehow we get back into it. Let's not think too hard, let's take it in. Bass moved a little bit, or I just got it wrong before because um, I'm playing guitar, but it's not going, it's not going D, A, it's going A, D. Same two notes though. I just want to say one thing. That wasn't a true modulation because we had a D major, C major, B minor, A minor, right? We had that E coming in. All this fits in the key of G. Five, four, three, two, one, right? Six. Um, so all these little runs in here are really coming from the key of G. So. Even though your relative major and minor, you tend to think of it from your one to your six, right? There's also other ones in a key, but the one note that isn't there, when you're coming down from the five, right? That's not gonna be a C sharp. That's gonna be a C. So it's not going to be the exact same scale. It's kind of like B Phrygian. Don't think about it too hard. 
<laughs> As I think about it. Weird song. Well, I got out again. Here's that E that. What? No, was it? What was that? Well, I got out again. A D. Well, I got out again. Yeah. So D C. Very uh, Led Zeppelin cashmere. What happens um, is that it's the same thing, except instead of descending, it's the opposite. It's ascending. Right? And the bass switches too. So focuses on D. And be mine. I have no idea what those little toggles on his guitar do. I guess they're pickups. This is a weird sound, okay? Uh, he's he's playing a weird sound very strangely. Uh, think of his G major scale, right? Now, if D is your focus, you know, that's not too crazy, because it's D mixolydian, right? But if B is your focus, right? B is your focus, and you're playing a bunch of G major in there. I mean, with the flat nine and everything, it's just there's some wild stuff. But the way, the way he's using his vibrato and his little things to accentuate the notes, um, it's just odd. It's not phrasing that you generally hear. It's um, so it's in a scale center you generally hear, and he's phrasing it like the, the notes he's choosing to accentuate are not like the obvious ones. Um, it's a very uh, out 
kind of sound. Um, I'll think of it. I'll think of a better description when I watch more. Oh. Guitar player needs something. and matching that you know little little G minor D minor in there the volume swell action kind of love it Mixing and matching all over the place. Throwing some taps in there, why not? He's in, he's in drop D, by the way. He's letting to bring out. Band's coming up. know what I'm watching. You see you see what I mean? Like his 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 vibrato and his attack, everything is so I don't know, like violent and and angular and um, abnormal and just like that was a huge thunder. I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. Anyhow, um, I was just looking at my window, it got super dark, and then bam, thunder. Um, regardless, this is wild. Let's keep watching. <laughs> Like these double stops.
okay, what was really cool about that? I'm gonna stop it here. What was what was really cool about that is clearly they let him go for as long as he wants, as noodly as can be. But then once he starts going to these double stops. and just starts going up in key, um, they know that that's coming, and then they all start hitting together. There's that great little drum fill, um, uh, and then they build, and they have the hits at the end. So there's clearly a plan. I'm always so intrigued by bands that like come across as anything could happen. It's so outer space. Like There's no way they know what they're doing. They're just following their ear. And then, and then they hit with these parts, which is like, oh, yeah, that's definitely planned out. Anyway, very, very cool here. That's television. Um, let me go back here and make sure I get this guy's name right. That is Tom Verlaine, I believe, on guitar, um, who just passed away. So rest in peace, Tom. Wild. Wild stuff. Um, and again, thanks, for, um, thanks again for um, uh, Carl and Rob for having me on their podcast. Please, the link is in the description. Please go give it a listen. Give them a follow. They're great dudes. And uh, have a great day. Keep that guitar in your hands, and uh, if you want to join the community, it's called guitargate.com. You get all my lessons, all my courses, and it's how you support this channel. I love you all very much. <clears throat> Take care. See you.